Hi, this is Mrs. Wilkins, formerly known as Miss Smith, and yes, I'm in the car at Starbucks waiting for my little one. And could this video have waited until I got home? Yes, but quite honestly, I was just so frustrated, like the last, you know, for the whole day, I'm not even going to lie, for the whole day, uh, with the state testing and just the madness and the whole stress of it all. Um, and then with, um, you know, a conversation I had towards the end of the day with regards to observation I did and just being so frustrated. Um, I was reciting a poem that I wrote a couple years back called tell me what you really know. And I was going to record that. Um, but I was like, no, because I remember talking to my husband and my sister about how, you know, when Jesus was faced with, you know, temptation and just faced with the naysayers, how he combated them was to just really not speak the problem, but um, speak, you know, the word or speak the, um, the end of that thing. So I just want to say that I know that he will make me the head and not the tail. He will put me above and not beneath. And this is just an encouragement to all the teachers out there to just Keep doing what you know um, is in the best interest of our students, um, regardless of what people say or regardless of the number that um, administrators may give you after they watch your lesson um, or some of the offensive words they might use when they describe your teaching. Um, I think one of the most rude things or offensive things that you can say to a teacher is that um, her lesson was boring or um, you were bored. Like, literally, that's the most offensive thing, especially when regardless of to whether or not you were bored, um, you know, that the whole class, maybe with the session of two kids, you know, who have previously issues from year to year since they've been in first grade, um, were engaged for you to say you were bored is just beyond me. But I know that, you know, the Holy, Holy Spirit says, the word says that he will make me the head and not the tail. He will put me above and not beneath in that. I am called to reach the youth by the masses. So again, this is for the, the teachers out there. If you know that you are what I like to call a veteran teacher, then don't, and you've done things to impact the youth and you fit and your kids are happy when they enter the room. They're happy when they leave the room. Don't let, you know, other people's opinions or their, um, their, uh, the numbers they give you ones, twos, threes, four, go to your head, whether it be positively or negatively always do what's in the best interest of the, the kids, regardless of what the state or the governors or um, the senators think is most important. Just do what's in the best interest of our children, because at the end of the day, that's what the education system should be about. Um, not anybody's ego, not anybody's pocketbook, not anyone's tests, not anyone's thoughts or anyone else's well-being, but um, our youth. So this is just a word of encouragement. Um, don't quit those veteran teachers who are thinking about retirement um and you still have it in you to keep going you know if you still have it in you to keep going keep being there for our youth don't don't tap out of the game so to speak because of the administration or you know the laws and the rules that sometimes overshadow what we do in the classroom um so just keep pushing yeah and shout out for wacky wednesday at our school today all right Take care, guys. Again, Sharia Vet, and this is for the teachers.